Speculation regarding the Blue Jays In this video you will see the latest Toronto Blue Jays news. Trades targets and rumors today. Let's go! Hakoda projections from baseball prospectus anticipate the Toronto Blue Jays finishing higher than one might expect. Baseball Prospectus recently unveiled its updated Pecota projected standings for the upcoming 2024 season, revealing a surprising prediction for the Toronto Blue Jays. According to the model, the Blue Jays are expected to secure the second spot in the AL East with 88.2 wins, trailing behind the New York Yankees at 94.4 wins. This outcome would position the Blue Jays as the leading AL wild card seed for the postseason in October. Pecota, Baseball Prospectus Proprietary Saber Metric System forecasts MLB player and team performance by combining player performance projections and aggregating results into runs scored and runs allowed. The system then runs season simulations 1,000 times to project a range of potential standings. The acronym PECOTA stands for Player Empirical Comparison and Optimization Test Algorithm. Interestingly, the Blue Jays' Vice President of Baseball Strategy, James Click, played a role in maintaining the Pecota algorithm during his time at Baseball Prospectus. The projected 88 wins for Toronto signify a slight regression from 89 wins last year and 92 in 2022. It places them tied with the Minnesota Twins for the fifth-best projected win total in baseball. The top four teams in projected wins are the Los Angeles Dodgers, 101.1, Atlanta Braves, 100.7, Houston Astros, 95.0, and the aforementioned New York Yankees. Pecota assigns the Blue Jays a 16% chance of winning the AL East title, a 64.5% chance of making the playoffs for the third consecutive season, and a 4.7% chance of advancing to the World Series. However, they face stiff competition from favorites such as the Atlanta Braves, Los Angeles Dodgers, and Houston Astros. The AL East predictions by Pacota have raised eyebrows, placing the Blue Jays ahead of the Baltimore Orioles, who are projected to finish third with 86.6 wins. Despite coming off a 101-win season and adding Corbin Burns to their roster, the Blue Jays have made strategic moves in the offseason, including signing free agents Justin Turner, Isaiah Kiner-Falifa, Yariel Rodriguez, and bringing back Kevin Kiermaier for a second season. The team aims for continuity, bidding on internal improvements from their hitters to enhance their competitive edge. Pecota projects the Blue Jays to score 780 runs, an increase of 34 from 2023, ranking them tied for the seventh most in baseball. Defensively, they are expected to allow 699 runs, resulting in a run differential of plus 81, which ranks as the seventh least runs allowed in the league. This implies a modest regression from the pitching staff led by Cy Young finalist Kevin Gaussman, which allowed only 671 runs last season, the sixth least in MLB. Despite a challenging offseason for Blue Jays fans, the 64.5% odds of making the postseason offer optimism. The mantra, just get in and anything can happen, resonates for a Blue Jays team approaching the conclusion of its current competitive window. Let's go Blue Jays! Reasons the Toronto Blue Jays might reconsider bringing back Brandon Belt for the 2024 season Despite initial speculation about his retirement, Brandon Belt recently announced his intention to extend his playing career for at least another season. However, there are valid arguments against the Toronto Blue Jays retaining him, especially considering certain aspects of his performance and fit within the team. Firstly, if the Blue Jays opt for Justin Turner to provide around 1,000 innings at third base, leaving room for a full-time designated hitter, the question arises, is Belt the ideal choice for this role? Contrary to a previous case in favor of Belt's return, it's essential to examine the reasons against it. Primarily, if the Blue Jays were to sign Belt, it would be primarily for his batting prowess. While he still performs decently at first base defensively, the team has alternative options to cover for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. when he needs a break. Thus, Belt's value in the field may not be as significant, especially at this stage in his career, despite his previous excellence as a defender during his peak years in San Francisco. Now, shifting the focus to Belt's offensive contributions in the 2023 season. 
His 138 WRC Plus stood out as the best among full-time players on the 2023 Jays and ranked 15th in the majors for players with a minimum of 400 plate appearances. However, closer scrutiny reveals potential red flags. Although his stat line of .254-.369-.490 was impressive, StatCast expected stats portrayed a different story. Suggesting potential luck with an X-line of .212-.336-.437. This discrepancy in actual and expected stats raises concerns, as evidenced by Belt slugging being the 19th luckiest among 258 qualifying batters. Additionally, Belt's batted ball stats in 2023, including a barrel percent of 15%, indicated a player who hits the ball squarely. However, his average exit velocity and hard hit percentage fell below the league average, an anomaly given the typical correlation between barreling the ball and higher exit velocities. Furthermore, Belt's career splits in various leverage situations raise doubts about his performance consistency. While he has excelled in low leverage situations with a 123 WRC+, his numbers drop in high leverage scenarios, averaging only 103 in 2023. This disparity, especially against power pitchers, is particularly troubling in light of MLB's growing emphasis on late-inning power pitching. Projections for Belt in 2024, such as Steamer forecasting a decline in his WRC plus to 106, suggest a potential regression. Considering these factors, even if the Blue Jays envision Turner as a full-time designated hitter, Belt may not possess the upside and skill set alignment that the team requires for the 2024 season. For Blue Jays Connections and Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame Class of 2024 The Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame recently revealed its Class of 2024, set to be honored later this summer with six new inductees. Among the notable figures entering the Hall this year, for have significant connections to the Toronto Blue Jays. Russell Martin A native of East York, Ontario, Russell Martin enjoyed a 14-year career in the MLB, donning jerseys for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Toronto Blue Jays, New York Yankees, and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Martin, a product of Chipola College, was drafted in the 17th round by the Dodgers in 2002. His versatile career includes a slash line, 191 home runs, 771 RBIs, and a .746 OPS. Known for his proficiency behind the plate, Martin contributed significantly to the Blue Jays' playoff runs in 2015 and 2016. Boasting a 99 OPS plus with 66 home runs and 211 RBIs in 447 games. Jimmy Key Hailing from Huntsville, Alabama, left-hander Jimmy Key was a third-round pick by the Blue Jays in 1982, emerging as a pivotal part of the team's rotation for nine seasons. Key's impressive tenure with the Blue Jays includes a 3.42 ERA over 317 outings, making 250 starts. He played a crucial role in the 1992 World Series Championship, earning two All-Star appearances and leaving a lasting impact on the franchise's pitching records. Paul Godfrey Paul Godfrey, not directly tied to on-field play but a significant figure for the Blue Jays, played a crucial role in bringing MLB to Toronto. In 1969, Godfrey's efforts led to the retrofitting of Exhibition Stadium, enabling Toronto to have a baseball team. He later served as CEO and president of the Blue Jays organization from 2000 to 2008. Ashley Stevenson Hailing from Mississauga, Ontario, Ashley Stevenson made a mark in women's baseball, representing Canada for 15 seasons and winning numerous medals in international competitions. After her playing career, Stevenson transitioned to coaching and became the first woman to manage the Canadian national squad in 2022. She also served as a position coach for the High A Vancouver Canadians in 2023, contributing to the team's Northwest League title. These Blue Jays connections in the class of 2024 showcase the diverse contributions and accomplishments within the baseball community, both on and off the field.